Well, Murphy tells us why New Orleans is now positioned to play a major role in building a portion of the new rocket designed to take astronauts to Mars and beyond. Today, NASA Administrator Charles Bolden announced details of a bold new program designed to carry astronauts into deep space by 2025. While I was proud to fly on the space shuttle, tomorrow's explorers will now dream of one day walking on Mars. The cornerstone of the Space Launch System, or SLS, is the massive heavy lift rocket depicted in this NASA animation. It shares much of the same architecture as the Saturn V rocket from the Apollo program and the shuttle's external fuel tanks, both built at the Michoud Assembly Facility in New Orleans. One of the bigger parts of the affordability equation is leveraging your existing capacity. Uh, so a li liquid oxygen, liquid hydrogen design with a external tank diameter all plays into that affordability question. NASA's director at Michoud, Steve Doring, says while the decisions are still being made, there's a good chance at least a portion of the new rocket could be built in New Orleans. If chosen, it would mean thousands of new jobs at Michoud. I will say that external tank at its peak employed about 25 to 2,800 people um, here in the facility. Um, I don't see any reason to expect that we won't get back to, uh, uh, if not at those numbers, somewhere close to those numbers. Last week, workers at Michoud started welding together the new Orion multi-purpose crew capsule that will ride on top of the new rocket system. Louisiana Senator David Vitter says Michoud should build a rocket as well. Michoud is the only facility of its size and capability for this sort of work, so it should be, knock on wood, a perfect fit. NASA is expected to announce which facilities will be involved in building the new rocket between now and the end of the year. I think we are um, well positioned uh, to be the place in which this will get built.